reason she's a prostitute that refused a polygraph. It's a dead end. It all leads back to Hanson. Hanson's an upstanding citizen. The Frozen Ground is a new serial killer movie. I know we've seen a million serial killer movies in the past, and this one actually isn't that different from the formula we've seen done in Hollywood many, many times, except that it's a 100% true story, and it features some terrific actors, including the best work I think Nicolas Cage has done in a long time. You're not hearing voices, you're not seeing things, and if that's true, then there's a far worse problem and it cannot continue. This movie may be the beginning of a little bit of a comeback for Nick. He's very good as a retiring a detective. He's about to retire from the uh, police force in uh, Alaska, but he's doing one last case. He's investigating the uh, kidnapping of a prostitute, a local prostitute. She somehow miraculously escaped this serial killer who has uh, a history of kidnapping and raping and killing uh, prostitutes. As he investigates it, he interviews the prostitute herself, which is played by Vanessa Hudgens. That's right, Vanessa Hudgens from High School Musical. She's very good here. This is a change of pace for her. And on top of Spring Breakers, which came out earlier in the year with James Franco, uh, she really is out to change her image, playing a prostitute. And she's very, very good here and very believable. Their scenes together are quite good. He took me down. To... He called it his den. It was, it was more of a tension. But the real star of this movie, I think, is John Cusack, who is evil and creepy and just perfect as the serial killer in question named Bob Hansen. And they won't reject you. You're paying for it. They'll do what you tell them. Then you pull out the gun, and you're really in control. And they're done. The movie becomes a basic cat and mouse game between Nicolas Cage's character and John Cusack's with Hudgens throwing in the middle, and of course she gets herself into more trouble as we go on, which keeps the plot going. I really liked the acting. I thought all of the actors acquitted themselves very, very nicely. And at the end, they have a, a really interesting crawl of what happened to all the real people involved in this case and, and the real victims. If you are so inclined to go see a serial killer movie, this is actually not bad. It's one that uh, you might enjoy, if you can enjoy serial killers at all. Uh, so I say, go.